Hey everybody, Josh RV Nerd here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan and coming in behind us about 7,760 pounds plus or minus, depends on how you equip it exactly. But that's about how this one weighs coming off the factory production line. The Eagle 272 RBOK and it is okay by me. Let's take a look with our floor plan in a flash and you will see why this thing is so good Prince would say it makes doves cry. <laughs> We are carpetless. We are seven foot tall. Whisper air conditioning system. A two plus three year unparalleled full time RVing warranty that you just normally can't find in travel trailers. Goodyear tires, uh, turn signal safety lighting, king beds, all sorts of big time uh, fifth wheel features wrapped up into what could be, I would say, a uh, half, heavy half ton towable. I would prefer a heavy half ton handle this more on like a uh, a more local casual towing basis. I do think that if like, because I know a lot of people are like, man, I want to travel. I want to go full time RVing. I think I would prefer something like this, given its size to be more in a three quarter ton truck, but a heavy half ton theoretically should have no issues here. Um, I'll always try to be fair. Like some folks are going to say it's a little lacking on campsite windows. That's fair. I do think that the size of this RV, you're still going to spend more time outside. So I think that's less of an issue. Um, it has heat vents in the floor that some people won't like, but those are there because this is one of the best proven, tested, hot, cold camp uh, capable RVs out there. And short of that, there is just not much that this thing does not do, and it does it well. And if you're not familiar with how the Eagle HT series kind of falls into the RV industry, it's it's somewhat of a loner. There's not a lot of other things extremely like it. Now, at a glance, it's a very common floor plan. And and really, if you think about it, this is very much just like a 29BH White Hawk on steroids in a lot of ways. They kind of flip-flop the living in the kitchen, but it's basically the same layout. And essentially, what you'll look at here is everything that's on an, uh, a White Hawk, an Eagle HT has, and then it goes a little bit further with just a little change in suspension and chassis. One of the main defining qualities here, though, is that this has a seven foot ceiling. This has an exceptionally tall ceiling you just don't find in travel trailers every day. Another thing is what you're not seeing, and that's the air conditioner, because Jayco uses a whisper ducted air system. And if you don't see the square, then you won't hear the air. So they're using both whisper ducting and the quieter Coleman Mach AC units. So they're doing kind of double whisper action here. It's do, double, double the whispers, double the fun. <laughs> One of the things that we're looking at here is the optional theater seating upgrade. And uh, when we come back to look at the entertainment center, you'll see why, because this thing will face you directly toward the entertainment. Uh, what is also great here is you notice since the 21 generation has begun, they have gone completely carpetless. Now, Eagle HT does use floor heated vents, but that is because those are vastly superior when it comes to actually heating the RV. Notice, though, that they have them in very low traffic zones, like... You're not generally going to be standing a lot where they are. Where you are walking a lot, they're out of the way. And I love the fact that they're using a higher grade of linoleum, which allows them to match the linoleum in the slide floor to the main floor decking so that the whole thing just looks and feels so clean in execution, so wide open. It's absolutely fantastic what they're doing in here. The uh, lighting package in this is great. If you want to, you could hook it up to your phone, operate it from your phone. That's absolutely a no sweat kind of thing. The big extra long uh, U dinette here can fold down to like a seven foot sleeper. So if you need some serious sleeping space, you got it. And one of the other things that you'll see here, and, well, I tell you what, first, to be fair, if I was going to change something on this camper, I'll mention this probably again outside for one other thing. I would really like to see this camper have something other than those pedestal legs, but they are there for a reason. They are very sturdy and very stable. Um, they're also lightweight, and this is already a big enough camper. They did have to be a little bit smart on the weight categories. They couldn't just go crazy anywhere they wanted. Now, whether it's that table or the kitchen counter or the bathroom counter, anywhere that you see a countertop, you're going to see a nice sealed edge pressed membrane kind of material, which I know a lot of folks will like. Uh, I, I tell you what, too. That tall ceiling allows them to add storage in here that most trailers just cannot, can't match. They just can't. And Jayco took full advantage of it in this floor plan. But on the way, speaking of bigger storage, standard in this camper, you would have an eight cubic foot two-way gas and electric uh, refrigerator, which is fine. But what you're looking at here today is the optional 10.7 cubic foot uh, 12 volt DC compressor fridge. It's obviously larger in capacity. It is faster cooling. It is 
fully travel functional because you don't have to, you know, there's no safety issues with using it in transit. Um, and by the way, we are looking at the modern farmhouse decor today. So keep in mind that uh, the, the decor that we have on the Eagle in stock, we, we will sometimes bring these in with the brown on brown American craftsman decor. But what's nice here is like you see the white-ish accents here with the distressing on them. That will change. But the kind of chocolate brown uh, cabinet colors here around the entertainment center, that will always be consistent. And by the way, your bedroom will always be American Craftsman, while your uh, bathroom will always be Modern Farmhouse, regardless of which living room decor you get. Now, I just mentioned all the storage, and I, I think the only way I can do it right is if I actually start over here above the sofa and work our way around. And I really want to draw attention to that because that little extra nook of storage right there is something that a lot of brands have stopped offering. Now, eagles are taller, remember? So it's a little bit of an optical illusion. You're, some people say, yeah, but they're giving you smaller windows here. Well, I guess they're giving us smaller windows than they could, but because the RV is taller, we have the opportunity for a bigger slide. They can still give us overhead storage and big windows. And if you're looking directly at them, you can see that all of the windows open for airflow. And I love how Jayco fully frames their windows out. But we'll come back to that in a second. Uh, the living room area, that is. Big time corner pantry over here. I love this. I love that we have that dedicated right there. Now that is directly across from the entry door. So if you wanted to use that for like some beach day, beach towels and stuff, or some, you know, quick in and out kind of stuff, there's some handy function to that too. But right here behind the entertainment center, right when you walk in, we've got ourselves a coat closet. And it is ultra frustrating to me how many RVs do not have a feature like that. Now, as long as we're here, I do want to point out the J command system. So it's uh, basically, this is the little brother version to what you get in a full Eagle, uh, but it still does pretty much all the same functions. So if I want to check my holding tanks, if I want to look at my water heater, water pump, awning slides, all that kind of stuff, the heating and cooling, you can see there's different things that you can do with this. But you also have quick access to your uh, a light switch here and Frankly, you can do that off this pad as well. And anything you can do here, you could do from your phone if you're so inclined, if you feel like syncing them together. Now, this thing has excellent storage above, around, behind the entertainment center. It's very easy to overlook how much you're getting here, including some shelving behind the television if you pivot the TV around. Now, the uh, RV does have a Bluetooth DVD player. A lot of companies have gone away from DVD function but they specifically leave you an open shelf right there if you want to upgrade to blu-ray or anything you please you can and jayco actually does run hdmi wiring where a lot of companies strangely don't the electric space heating fireplace is an option that we like to apply to pretty much all of these we can you do give up a tiny amount of storage but we're seeing this camper has plenty if you're going to be hot climate camping you don't have to use it for heat you can just use it for the cool visuals or a night light and if you're going to be chilly camping the extra heat without burning up your propane is nice now, every little space they can. Big drawers below the larger fridge, and the taller ceiling allows them a big drawer and a big fridge, which is great, plus a big drawer down here below the uh, uh, larger 22-inch stove. And they're using a Furion stove. And I know I'm getting ultra detailed here, but this is a high-level product, and I assume that if you're serious about buying something like this, you want to know everything it does for your money, right? Well, Furion's doing a thing here. They really listen to some consumer feedback, and it's got a two-stage light setup. If you want just the handles to light, you can do that. But if you want an oven light separate, you can do that too. You don't have to have them all on all the time. Great space for a wastebasket down here. And you might see that all the cabinets are hidden hinged and very nice clean execution. And up top here, that is a countertop to cabinet bottom backsplash. They've wrapped that around pretty much as much as they possibly can. This is all pocket screwed cabinetry. All the cabinet construction here is exactly the same as a North Point luxury fifth wheel, by the way. And this is a more recent change. They allowed this cubby right here to be extra large and to pass through into the bedroom. You'll actually see that from the other side when we get in there. Easy reach outlets, plenty of lighting below the overhead cabins. That's the thing. Eagle's got more lights per square foot than a lot of brands. But we're not quite done with everything yet. Because down below here, we've got those drawers. And, you know, kitchen drawers, I think, are an important thing. You see their plywood box. They go right down to the floor. They don't waste a space there, right there. And uh, part of the reason you can get that extra drawer on the bottom is because they do use the floor vented heating. These big drawers below the fridge, or yeah, fridge and the oven, 
Those aren't always possible with cabinet ducted heating. You give up a lot of storage and you lose a ton of heating effective airflow there. Now, if you're like, yeah, I just, I don't want stuff to fall in that, throw a placement or a floor mat down on it. Or there's little $8 air filters that you'll never have to buy again that you can get off Amazon delivered right to your house in two days as a Prime member. If the only thing stopping you from buying this camper is that vent in the floor, call me. I'll buy you the first pack of floor vents. Now, you've got a neat little USB phone charge station down here but you've got extra USB plugs over here, but it's kind of masked as a Furion uh, lit Bluetooth speaker mount. And you can see also easy access to the storage below the dinette right there with those handy slide out totes. Those are an underappreciated thing. Totes are lightweight, super effective. You know, you can take them outside, fill them full of water, do the ice bucket challenge if that were still a thing, which obviously it's not. Um, oh, 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 there's one thing I, I, for, I knew I'd almost forget to talk about. If we get down here, there's actually a set of household outlets uh, in the back there uh, mounted right on the dinette. So you've got a cool little potential like phone plug station there. And as you're seeing, this has a dual section sliding pocket privacy door for the bedroom and it actually latches. So if you want to stay in there and make sure nobody comes in and sees you hugging, well, you know, you can have your privacy in an Eagle. Now that's probably more of a concern on something like the 284 BHOK Eagle HT that you'd find here at Halet RV. That is the, it's almost the exact same floor plan, but it's a bunkhouse instead of a rear bath. From the living room forward though, the bedroom, they're identical. Now in here, you have what was literally for a time known as the Halet King Bed. Originally, Eagle HTs were queen only. And I begged and pleaded and fought to get a King Bed thrown in here, a 70 by 80 King Bed, and they said, you know what, you can do that. But uh, they accidentally had it named as the Halet King Bed in their system because at the time it was a custom order. So there are technically a few, I think there were 2018s or 19s out there that said Halet King Bed on them, which I, obviously I love sharing that story. <laughs> uh, where do we want to go from here? We, you see that you're getting the same shades here in the bedroom that you get in the, uh, like the living room area. They don't start to scale down like some brands are, are commonly doing. And since the ceiling is so tall, they can give you a nice size overhead cabinet that isn't going to be a head knocker. Um, but I think if we're going to talk about storage, I really got to start down here. And I always want to show you everything I can, especially when it comes to storage, which is why I love that that king bed is very easy to lift. You'll see that naturally you have the dual hanging side stands. And up here, you know, it's, it's a little tall. You might have to get, you know, knees on the bed to get to it. But the fact is you've got a full, deep overhead storage cabinet. You can see how big that is. But that's like only a drop in the bucket of the storage that you have in this Eagle. Because if we twist our way around here, kind of squirreled away behind the kitchen, you have a massive bonus dresser space. And that right there is super deep. It's a good example of how they're just not gonna waste a single thing, including dresser drawers all the way down to the floor here. Every little nook and cranny they could, they opened it up, they didn't let anything go to waste. And then little convenience features, like you've got uh, an easy reach light switch here for the main cabin lights, cause it's a seven foot tall camper. If I get this mattress back down out of the way, you see that there are some outlets, or not outlets, pardon me, switches right on the sides of the side stands. And you have them on both sides. What's kind of cool is they give each person on each side of the bed control over various lights. Like you've got control over the reading light above your side of the bed and the little kind of personal light down here for your side stand. So every light switch, even here in the bedroom, is easy to reach. Now these Eagle uh, HT trailers, they are all 50 amp service standard. So if you do choose to upgrade to a second air conditioner, you see that little power junction box in the ceiling. That is where it could be installed. If that's something you're looking for, know that we can assist you with that here at Halet RV. And again, the details, like the little metallic struts to keep the overhead cabinet doors open. You know, the, the hidden hinges make it look good, but the struts make it easy to get to. They, they're just, they're firing on all cylinders here. So coming back to our living room and entertainment space right here, you can see how that TV fireplace area, the entertainment's mounted straight across from the theater seat. That is that uh, old nerdism, that no neck wrecker entertainment center. It's just simpler, easier, more comfortable. And something that's not as obvious, like check out these lights that are right in our face right here. Eagle's very good about always giving us switches for the lights. And you see that you have a similar light switch right there for the theater seat for the lights above that. So if you're sitting down, the light above you is too bright, not enough, you need to kick it on or off, it's simple and easy to do. 
Actually, I think we've already pretty much cooked everything from this direction. One thing I do want you to see, though, is next to this neat little antique looking clock, you've got a little black sticker, and it says, Wired for Solar, because up on the roof, you'll see where this has a roof solar prep plug. And if you choose to get that uh, solar package from Jayco or have us install something for you here at Halet RV, that's where your charge controller will be located. Now, the same kind of sliding pocket door that we saw for the master bedroom, you'll see here in the bathroom area as well. And if what you're looking for is legroom, folks, uh, this is long leg nerd approved. And similarly, since this has such a tall ceiling, I, I tell you, it's one of the things I like about Eagle H. She's now headroom in a shower is not personally a deal breaker for me, but I think that this is a kind of camper that maybe speaks to a little bit different client. I'm a casual RVer. I get to go on an average two days a year because I usually got to be here with a camera in my hand. It's the catch 22, kind of like the roofer with a leaky roof. So it's headroom in the shower is not a deal breaker for me. I can deal with it. But if I was going to be on the road constantly or high frequency, like you might do with an Eagle HT travel trailer, then it would make a lot of sense. Now you've got a couple neat things here in addition to that headroom. I love the uh, radius shower bar giving us some, some more elbow space. But that blue light up there will give the whole bathroom a nighttime glow. And that's part of the reason this is all farmhouse decor in here. It will always glow at night and you can see your way like an air traffic controller to do your business and get out of here. Now we've talked about good storage. That trend does not stop just because we've left the living room and the kitchen area all over the place. They've just got storage all over the place. And I love this corner cabinet. That is just pure bonus bathroom storage. And I think that that's going to be a great place to keep things like, uh, you know, hair dryers and stuff like that. Not that I need a hair dryer with my balding hairline, but notice the backlighting around the morning mirror. So if you need to get yourself ready, you got to put some product in your hair, which once again, I really know nothing about anymore. <laughs> it's very handy. Also makes another good nightlight. And check this out down here, a recessed sink with more of that sealed edge counter space. And there is some serious counter space here because all of this is actually existing above the exterior camp kitchen. It's a really smart use of space. That's why there's not cabinet doors down here, but these cabinet doors, you know, you'd have to be fighting the toilet for them. So it makes sense that they used it for a space outside, I think, instead of inside. Really smart planning. And while that bedroom entry door will obviously give you access to the, you know, bedroom in transit, because that doesn't have a slide, it doesn't matter. In the living room area here, with the slide out closed, you'll see that you can get to everything else pretty much. What is very beneficial is the way that they planned ahead and located those kitchen drawers right there. In point of technicality, that one little door is the one thing you won't be able to get to. But remember, if you had to get to that storage, you could always lift the cushions off of the uh, dinette right here and get down to the storage that way if need be by lifting up the kind of dinette decking. Then, you know, from there, obviously, whether it's refrigerator, it's all of the pantry space, even obviously back here to the bathroom, everything else remains accessible. So this is a good, large, spacious, sharp kind of equipped trailer. It also has some awesome traveling function. And that is why, especially with their two plus three year full timing RV warranty, I think that if you're going to be a full timing traveling couple, this is the kind of uh, trailer that would really, really speak to your needs while giving you the peace of mind and backing and assurance that you need to buy with confidence. Giving you that information? Well, that's what we do at Haywood RV. And there's so much going on on this trailer. I really didn't know where to begin. So I thought, you know what? We're going to start right back here by the door. I'm going to break normal ranks. We're just going to start knocking features out because there's a lot to cover. So take a look at that big power awning. And if you feel like it, you could always hook that up to your phone and make it a remote control power awning. But just inside the door, of course, there's your normal switch panel to operate all that stuff. I love the inclusion of a little mini camp kitchen here. And the way that it's basically just hiding under the bathroom counter, I think is so, so smart. Because it's a space where you're inside, you'd have to get down almost on your hands and knees to get to stuff. And here, you've got yourself a little built-in outside, uh, very high output grill system. And it's all enclosed in galvanized rolled steel. Jayco was one of the first to standardize that because they were one of the first to go with the capital grill system here you got the little barley popinator 37,000 series right there inside we have uh, another set of uh, like USB plugs this one happens to be kind of also disguised as a Furion lit Bluetooth speaker charging mount 
Those speakers are actually pretty cool. I've done a separate video on one of those. If you want the link to it, let us know. Those things are very neat. Now you see double light switches. You've got normal bright light uh, in here, but there's also a blue backlight kind of hidden up here that you can't really see. So if you just want a soft glow in there, plus household outlets. Our little uh, mini fridge outside, in conjunction with the fridge inside, gives this thing the total cold storage capacity frankly rivaling that of a fifth wheel of a four-door two-way fridge you've got like the same storage capacity here and that is sweet now notice before we put the steps down easier to see right next to each other double entry handle so you've always got something to hold on to so if you got a little hitch in your giddy up you got a bad knee hip or something like that it is nice and obviously they're using like a luxury fifth wheel zero gravity stable step which is fantastic so super easy to put this up and down. That is all it takes. <laughs> and it just does the work for us. Now the stable steps are great because the foot pegs are adjustable. Eagle doing eagle things. No surprise, they've gone to the easy adjust system where, oop, there you go. That <laughs> easy adjust and he struggles with it like an idiot. Of course it helps when you actually pull straight out and not try to pull forward like I just did. But my wife will tell you, she didn't marry me for my brains. I really haven't actually figured that one out. Smarter features on Eagles is a normal find. Keeping our speakers down low, and there is another skirt mounted speaker forward on the RV, but having a switch for the light that goes under the steps here, it's actually located below the skirt line of this outside instead of inside the RV, it's smarter. It makes more sense. An anti-slam friction hinge door that even kind of blowing in the breeze. You see how it catches itself? You can throw it, you can miss piggy karate chop it, and it's not gonna slam real hard there, which is pretty awful nice. If you feel like it, she is set up for an outdoor entertainment center, or you could just use it for general storage. You could potentially throw some shelves in there. And notice how even this little, almost like a secondary door, they're still using the slam latches. They're using magnet holdback so that it's always simple, easy to operate. In point of technicality, these are actually compression latches. You should gently lift the handle and then push in like I just did to compress the seal. Down below us, we have some best in class, Goodyear Endurance Radials, Jayco doing Jayco things, but you're watching Rockwood and some other brands start to catch on to the Goodyear train, and I can't blame them. That's, that's, a, that's a good train to hit your caboose up to, I think. But remember, we're looking at a travel trailer with fifth wheel features and things that you don't normally see or understand to appreciate. Uh, like a uh, uh, the four-star handling system, which includes that Moride compression rubber equalizing suspension system. Now, right there, did you see how the wind caught the door, but it didn't slam? Well, it is awful windy today. Now, there's not a lot of trees around to really show you that, but see how it's not banging around. That hinge is doing us one heck of a job right now. But back to that suspension. Most travel trailers do not have nicer suspension systems because most travel trailer buyers are not experienced enough or don't tow the RV enough to really appreciate the value of something like that. So once again, if your plan is to get the last travel trailer ever, like if you had the bunkhouse and the kids are gone, or if you're retiring and you're like, I'm only gonna do this once, Eagle definitely, definitely should be a brand that is on your list. Now, Eagle HTs, again, they're not the very lightest trailer out there. They're not the heaviest. And they're simply, certainly not the least expensive potential trailer you could look at. But again, if you're looking to make it that last one-time purchase, this is a brand that gives you those features. Like a drop frame front storage compartment. If you don't know what that means, the frame rails actually drop down to create this massive <laughs> fifth wheel style pass-through compartment. And just like a Jayco fifth wheel, they are throwing a double-sided radiant barrier under your bed space to give you more even heating and cooling in your bedroom so that you sleep better at night. You see that they're doing motion lights on both sides of the pass-through instead of one or the other, which is very common in the RV business. And I will always be fair. If I was going to change something, I would locate that battery disconnect switch up a little higher by that light so it's less susceptible to shifting cargo. But that being said, one of the things you can do when you're not using it is just go like that. And now it's really not inclined to get bashed up too much, but I would personally like it if it were a little higher. We are rear and side camera ready. And with the J Smart lighting system, which will cause this turn signal right here, well, this to blink with your turn signals, they are separately wired so that it won't cause your camera to clip in and out. And uh, there's a little blue coily sprayer hose that comes with a lot of these campers included with one of these. You can hook it up here, but it does have a normal outside shower on the opposite side of the trailer. So it's kind of giving us like a, uh, a two-in-one sort of function right there. Great for quick little campsite cleanups. 
There are some orange, I call them lightsaber accent lights in the nose cap that I simply don't have ignited currently. I always do that to myself. I step out of the camper and I turn the power off. Anyway, they look, they look fantastic and they're orange. So if you forget them and you leave them on, Johnny Law is not gonna pull you over because they're DOT approved. 30 pound propane tanks instead of 20s, which are very common on travel trailers. And up here, this is something special. There is some extra weight and cost that goes into this. It's part of what makes Eagles, Eagles. And this big front cargo tray, like there's my battery box. I've gone ahead and already unhooked. But this is sized so that if you wanted to put a cargo box in here, if you wanted to mount a generator up front here, if you want to add batteries to both sides, if you want to add a massive battery bank, you can do that. Now, a cargo box would be really handy for like storing your hitching when you're not using it or you're, you know, in transit, your load leveling blocks. But no matter what, that is one of those features that once you have it, once you've had a trailer with that on the front, you go, that is so useful. And you'll see when we get to the back, it also has a two inch receiver hitch on the back. So if you want to add a cargo tray or something back there, you could do that too. The uh, slam latches and magnet holdbacks will persist on all of the doors. And again, a fifth wheel feature. We are looking at a fully enclosed, privatized, heated, protected docking center. Your side solar prep plug is in the upper right corner. We will get on the roof where you can see the roof solar prep. And I've mentioned it a few times, but Eagles are one of the very few travel trailers which are proven zero degree capable and they go well into the uh, 100 uh, you know, degree temperatures. So they are hot, cold, camp proven. Uh, they are one of the only travel trailers out there. The Cougars, one of the only other ones I can think of that also carries a uh, warranty that has allowances for full-time RVing. And frankly, Jayco has double the full RV warranty duration, although both Cougar and Eagle do have a three-year structural warranty, which is no small thing, I think. Jumping to the back of that slide, you see how all the windows open for airflow, so you can always get some breeze ripping through this thing. I know I had the shades closed inside. I always want to take a second to circle back and point that out. And if you look on the top of that slide on the corners, you see it is slide awning ready, which is something we can easily assist you with here at Halid RV. Um, we theoretically could factory install them, but there are some areas of the country where they are not a good idea, like if it's really, really windy in the plains or by the coasts, you don't always want slide awnings because they'll they'll flap like crazy and potentially slap the top of the RV slide, which is a, a very bad thing. So we kind of install them as needed on a per customer basis. Now it's normally a little tricky for me to show this, but the friendly neighborhood Jayco delivery driver worked with me here. He's sitting right there with uh, the trailer in reverse and his foot on the brake. And if you look up top, you see that bright light bar. And then in both of the taillights, you see how it's lit up right here. Now, I don't know how well this is really translating to camera, but I know that in real life, I am staring at the screen of my camera. I am not staring at that light because it is almost painfully bright. Um, it's not as bad as obviously looking at a welder's arc, but it is pretty extreme. But you could see the severity of that light in comparison to the common tail lights uh, that you know, you're know you used to seeing at night and what a difference it makes. The reverse lighting on these Eagles is absolutely no joke and a great safety feature for your family. One of the other things I wanna show you down here is uh, this does have a 300 pound rated cargo accessory hitch. So if you want to add, you know, a simple bike rack, or if you wanna add like a little cargo pot or something like that, or a tray, even though you've got the tongue mounted generator, for some reason, if you've got other stuff up there, like you wanna put a cargo box up front and a generator on the back, the point is you can basically do whatever you wanted, wherever you wanted on this one. That's the thing with Eagle. They don't force you into a pigeonhole. They let you kind of choose your own adventure like those books you used to read as a kid. Though me, I would always, I'd pick the wrong option and I would skip to like page 127. I'd read it, go, oh no, 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 no. And I go back to page 37 and start over like it never happened before. It, am I the only one? Is that just me? Beautiful blue sky today. Perfect day, I think, to get up here on top of this sucker. And what you're going to find below us is Jayco's Magnum Truss Roof System, which gives this the heaviest load rating of anything else in its class by about 50% roughly. Um, now it's not to say that other RVs don't have plenty walkable roofs or even slide outs. Plenty of things like this have walkable slides. That's not uncommon actually in the RV industry. We just don't talk about it much because there's not a whole lot of reason to walk up there. But the fact of the matter is nothing holds the weight on the roof like Jayco. Now up here on the right hand side, you can see uh, a couple black things. One is a uh, like a chimney pipe coming off one of the holding tanks. The little plug on the right hand side though is your roof solar prep plug. 
and you can see how they position that intelligently here to give you just a maximum canvas space. If you want a small little battery maintaining solar prep plug or, or solar panel rather, well you can do that here. If you want to go crazy, you want to just go nuts, you want to add a bunch of batteries to the tongue, you know, like, well, we're a Battleborn dealer, by the way. Your first common RV battery is included at no additional charge to you, but if you're looking for things like Battleborns and stuff, we have them in the shop. We can get you set up with all that. They're spendy, but man, they are the best. They really are. Uh, so if you want to go battery crazy, you want to go solar crazy, you want to install a crazy, super powerful charge controller and all that, we can do all that stuff here for you. We do pretty much everything here at Halid RV. And then a quick look again at the little bit different um, kind of Max Air vent cover that they're using here. The vent cover and the fan housing, it's kind of an all-in-one job, which is nice. So that you can open and close those fins from the inside and make sure that you always have good air ventilation, keeping that rainy day stuff out of here, which nobody wants. Now, I almost climbed down from here, but I want to do kind of just a quick little, hey, here's something you might not realize thing. When an RV is first built from the factory, there's a lot of materials in this that need to off gas. There's, there's gases trapped inside the roof construction of this that need to breathe out a little bit. And you will see a brand new RV, it is very normal to have a little bit of bubbling like that around fixtures. And along, as long as it is around a nearby fixture, that's no big deal. That stuff will end up breathing itself out and it will settle itself right down. It just takes a little time. When you're looking at an RV and you see a bubble in the center of the roof, which you don't see here because this is built correctly, that's when you should maybe be a little concerned because that bubble's never really going to breathe out. So just a little PSA from your Uncle Josh, the RV nerd. Kind of little, the more you know. So thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed everything. If you appreciate the information you get from videos like these, please give our family owned and operated facility here and our team the opportunity to earn your business. Doesn't matter if you're new or far, we have RV delivery options available. Call us to get a quote. And short of that, if you need hitching, pieces, parts, trades, financing, truck and trailer package deals, obviously RV delivery or anything in between, the only thing we won't do is hidden dealer fees at Halet RV. So if that sounds good to you, give us a call here, hit that subscribe button, follow along, because we always have more information coming your way. So take care, stay safe, have fun, and happy Halet camping, everyone.